Hi, this is Mandy with Scott Leroy Marketing. Today, I want to show you how to set up the monthly neighborhood nurture smart plan. This is where your contacts can receive a monthly email that includes neighborhood stats, like a snap shot of that neighborhood and also includes current listings within that neighborhood as well kind of like a market update so first let's log into command there are a few things that your contacts need to have in order for this to work properly so let's go to our contacts tab first right here second icon down and in order for the smart plan to work correctly, your contact needs to have a primary email address on file. We can see that here on our contacts. And also they need to have a neighborhood on file as well. So let me show you how to add that neighborhood. So I'll just click on my contact here and scroll down on the left. And right here is where neighborhoods are on your contacts. Now, if your contact has a primary physical address on file that is in a neighborhood, then that neighborhood should automatically populate for you right here beside primary. And we can see that as we scroll down, that home address is listed right here as primary. And that is what generated our primary neighborhood right here as well. If for some reason you don't have their physical address or maybe their physical address is just not in an actual neighborhood, a formed neighborhood, you can always manually add neighborhoods right here by clicking add neighborhood. If you know the neighborhood name, you can begin typing it in here or click find on a map and right here, the map will populate. You can hold your control key down and zoom out if you would like, or even zoom in. Now, everywhere that you see in green, these are neighborhoods. Let me zoom into this area right here so you can see it even a little bit better. And so when you hover over the neighborhood, it should show you the name. There we go. And so you can begin clicking the neighborhoods that you want to include. And you can even click off of them or click the X down here at the bottom if you need to remove some of them as well. So go ahead and just choose whichever one you would like to add. And again, you can add multiples. You can also use the search for a location up here at the top. If you know a street address or maybe just a main um, street or a, just a general street name, that will work too. And you can choose from the drop down menu. Let's choose this. And it should take you over here with the map. And again, you can zoom in and choose more neighborhoods. You can choose neighborhoods from different states. It does not have to be from one general location. You can choose multiple in multiple areas. Once you're done, click Save. And you should see those neighborhoods begin populating right here for the contact and also over here in the timeline you'll see that those are added now that your contact has a primary email address on file right here and has a neighborhood on file then they are ready to have a bulk tag added to them you will add contacts to your smart plan by tags which helps you add them in larger groups and faster to your smart plan. So let's go back out to our contacts here. And I'm going to show you how to use your advanced filters to find the contacts in your database that already have a primary email address and a neighborhood on file. So we'll choose filters, advanced filters. We can f use the left hand field to find the one for primary email and make sure it says is not empty letting you know which contacts already have a primary email address on file and then I can add an additional filter for neighborhood and it could be 
listed as is not empty right here. So using these two filters, we will see the contacts that already have a primary email address and a neighborhood on file. You can use this in reverse too if you're looking for the contacts that you need to get more information for. You could have changed this to say is empty so that you would see the contacts that are missing emails or missing a neighborhood and you need to go add that. So it's whatever step you are currently on. But for this, we're going to go ahead and use these two filters to be able to see the contacts that are ready to go on to our smart plan. Once you've set this up, go ahead and click apply over here on the far right, and that will allow you to see the contacts that qualify. I'm going to click out of that box because we already have our contacts listed here. And so assuming your contacts are showing right here that have a primary email address and a neighborhood on file, come over here and make sure you're showing up to 500 so that you're doing this in the largest increment possible. We're going to select all and add that bulk tag to all of these contacts indicating to us that these are the guys that we want to add to our smart plan. So we'll select all and come to our bulk action menu, add tag, and we're going to search for an existing tag or maybe you're going to create a new tag but the tag needs to be something that will indicate to you that these are your contacts that you want to add to that monthly neighborhood nurture smart plan so go ahead and choose whichever tag you would like i'm going to type in a custom one so monthly neighborhood nurture is one we use a lot i'm going to make it a little bit different to show you this tag is not created yet so I'm going to create the tag right here. I choose what it's, the actual tag name is, choose the color, and create tag. It shows me one tag is selected. That's the one I just created. And I'm going to hit submit. Now it will apply that tag to these contacts. Let me see if I can adjust it for you. See the tag that's now added to these contacts? That is going to help you in the long run be able to add these contacts to your smart plan quickly. Now that we've worked on our contacts, let's go to our smart plan tab to actually download that smart plan from the smart plan library. The smart plans tab right here on your menu, fourth icon down. We'll go to the library tab. And we can use our search field right here to look for this or you can just scroll down right here to the Keller Williams authored smart plans click the arrow to view the ones to the right and our monthly neighborhood nurture is right here they do have a bi-weekly let me find it for you right here a bi-weekly neighborhood nurture it's the exact same thing your ta your contacts still need to have a primary email and a neighborhood on file but the email will actually go out every two weeks instead of once a month so you can use this one or the monthly one whichever one you prefer since today's video is monthly neighborhood nurture i'll go ahead and click add smart plan on this one you can adjust the name that you would like it to be I'm going to leave it as it is and click download. We've gotten a banner of success letting us know that it is now under our My Smart Plans tab. So we'll click that. And you can see it listed right here. Let me move. I was hoping our page would move. It's because I'm zoomed in. Let me zoom out so it looks a little bit better. There we go. All right. And so we'll see My Monthly Neighborhood Nurture right here at the top. And now there's multiple ways to add contacts to that smart plan. Once the contacts are added, that smart plan is activated and it will begin working right away. You can add contacts right here from the add contact icon. However, it will limit you to adding about 20 at a time. So if you're working with a larger database, this makes it a little more difficult and time consuming. I want to show you from the contacts tab over here on the top left where we just were, how to add contacts to your smart plans in bulk and a little bit faster. So we'll go ahead and click contacts. Use your filters to find those contacts with that tag. So we'll click filters. Look for our tag. 
There it is. So we'll select that. I actually have two tags selected. Let me select that again and click apply. Now I'm looking at my contacts that had that smart plan tag that we had just created. So now, as long as I'm showing up to 500, make sure that's also selected, we can select all. And from our bulk action menu, we can go ahead and add to a smart plan. Our monthly neighborhood nurture smart plan is the first one right here at the top since we just downloaded it. Use your search bar just in case if it's not the most recent download that you did and click select. It does let you know if any of your contacts are missing either the email address or the neighborhood. In this case, it's showing us that one of our contacts, Tis, Tis Scott, he's missing his neighborhood. So we can't, um, he will not receive it actually. So we can remove contacts with the errors and it would remove Scott from being added to the smart plan or we can add to the smart plan anyway. If you add to the smart plan anyway, you will see in that contacts timeline that he was added to the smart plan. However, it will error out and he will be automatically removed from the smart plan. And you'll also see that in his timeline as well. So we'll go ahead and add to plan anyway. And you will see these three options. You can start them all to receive this monthly neighborhood nurture email right now. You can schedule it for a specific day if you would like in the future or you can stagger start. A stagger start means if you're working with a large number of contacts, you can have them instead of adding like 500 to start on the smart plan today, you can have it to where 100 would start today, 100 tomorrow, 100 the next day, and so on. So just do whatever makes sense for you. Since this smart plan does not create any tasks for you, the agent, we'll go ahead and just start on a specific date and we'll have this start on this Friday. And make sure you check that you've read the disclaimer and click confirm. This will add these contacts to the smart plan on that particular day. It gives you the green banner letting you know that they have been added and you should be good to go. If you have any questions at all about how to get your contacts started on the monthly neighborhood nurture, please reach out to us at support at and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching.